actually hand, handy if you have a table. But if you're asked for the derivative of the inverse, oh. I don't know why this never comes. I, I remember this last year, too. Your book must not cover this, and as I'm going, I need to make a note in the book make sure I go over this, because I remember this being a question last year that they had. If you find the derivative of the inverse, it's the same thing as 1 over the derivative at that y value instead of at that x value. So in other words, number 19, or B19 says to estimate the inverse at 4, but this is also a derivative. So the derivative of the inverse at 4. Okay. So from the table, I'm going to switch the x and the y. So really, I'm going to make this. The point in the table is 2, 4, right? 2, 4. So instead of 4, I'm going to change it to 2. So it's going to be 1 over the derivative at 2. It's in the table, looking, looking up at the table. So it's switching the x and the y there, and then it's doing 1 over the derivative at that switch point, the opposite. So here, this would be, and then if you had done number 18, you found the derivative at 2. Yes, but the x and the y is switched. So if I'm talking about... If I'm talking about inverse here, and I'm talking about x, and I'm really, and I'm talking about four, then I'm really talking about two because it's x. Okay. Okay, so maybe this should be this, because it's no longer an inverse. I was trying to see how, you, trying to help you understand it. So we'll just make this x. Because this is an inverse, whenever it says the inverse of 4, I'm looking for where is f. Where is y equal to 4 because of the inverse? Does that make more sense? Inverse switches x and y. So if I want to find the inverse at 4, so I'm looking at where y is 4 because inverse switches x and y. So instead of the x being 4, and so then whenever I switch them, I come over here, so it's 1 over the derivative at the x value of the function. Okay, so this point was 2, 4. Well, it's the derivative. So the 1 over the derivative at this time it's 2. Because you switched x and y essentially. So it's 2. What is the derivative at 2? So if you had done, bless you, if you had done number 18, which you didn't, you would have found it. But I've got a table here, and I'm estimating the derivative at 2. So I'm estimating the slope at 2. So the only thing I can do is really a rock between 1.98, 4.1. I'm assuming this is a calculator problem. I was going to say, what? Yeah, this is calculator. You don't know how to find a rock on that? Yeah. Is that equal to negative five? Twenty over move it over two places. Right. Then move it over two. Is it not negative one? Oh, the answer to 19 is negative 5. The answer to that is not negative 5. Well, 
1.98. Oh, we flipped them up. Dylan, I listened to you. It's y over x, not x over y. It's okay, Dylan. I, I should have thought that. Wait, 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 that's what all those boys keep doing. You put x over y instead of y over x. It's rise over run. So it's 4.1 minus 4 over 1.98 minus 2. You just have to flip it. I know. That's what I said. You just flip it. Oh, wait, you're right. This is 1.4. Oh, you're right. So negative 5. So this one is the flip of that, which is negative 1 fifth. But this is the formula you can write down somewhere because those that does show up. If you know that, that little formula, then it's a, a quick multiple choice for you to. The inverse of the value, you look at the y for that value in the table or whatever it is. You find the y and f for that value. Find the x that corresponds to it and then the, the reciprocal of that. So the reciprocal of the derivative of that recycle. Okay, but so if I'm talking about the inverse, if I say the inverse f of x, right, really that's f of y, right? Do you agree with that? Because it switches x and y. Do you agree? So if I do that and then I'm doing, and let me just write this differently. Let's say the inverse x, and I want the derivative to it, right? Well, this is f of y. So I find f of y, right? I find the x that goes with it. And then I do one of the derivative of that x value. So this is the function, this is the inverse. That's why it's different. Okay. B23. Oh my gosh. Suppose that f of 1 equals 2, f prime of 1 equals 3, f prime of a 2 equals 4. And then it asks you to find the inverse. It writes it like this. At 2. So you find Stick what the x is and the y is 2. What is it? <sighs> so I'm looking for when, but you don't, but you have this. What is x when y is 2? What? Is x when y is 2? It's 1. I know that because, right? So this is going to be 1 over the derivative at 1. 1 over 3. How do you like know that? 1 over 3. Little formula. 1 over 3. My little formula I just gave it to this is 3, so it's 1 over 3. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. Y'all want to run down and grab it? I've already emailed her. Do the words to figure out what it is they're asking. And I find that a lot with a lot of calculus. Is it... They use such sophisticated, sophisticated wording sometimes that you just, you're plowing through, but at the end of the day, it's something that you know how to do. So, okay, so 57. It's okay. I'm not sure that they would be participating if they were here. Oh, gross. Okay. Well, nothing to it but to do it, so let's do it. So, derivative of log is... Oh, you use log properties and split it up. You can. That's smart, Allison. And so the natural log of e to the x is, 
Um, and this one I'm just going to leave. It should have still worked if you did it the way you did it with question property. Like you did one over that times. And then... And there's probably so many places for a sign error and stuff. Um, so now the derivative, derivative of x is 1 minus, I'm going to do 1 over e to the x minus 1, but I have to chain rule it, times e to the x. Did they find a common denominator? So this is e to the x over e to the x minus 1. And let's see what our answer choices look like, because just because you can work it, doesn't mean you can get the right answer. You have to be able to manipulate it back into a form. That's the trick with multiple choice questions, okay? So if I'm looking at this one, what number was it again? Nine. I don't see an answer that looks like this, right? And they're all in just one function. So let's try to get common denominators and see what happens. Right, so this one's going to be, Seven. This is A fifty seven, by the way. Um I thought you didn't like that juice. You do like the juice. Um the parabola is defined by x squared minus 8x plus 10 for x is less than or equal to 4. And it is a one-to-one -one function at that point. Now, remember we talked about one-to-one. -one. How could a parabola be one-to-one -one if it does that? Well, it's because the domain is restricted, okay? So, it passes the vertical and right. horizontal. Correct. Therefore, it's inverse, so a function. Call that inverse G. So what we're... <laughs> the inverse of Y is G. Is everybody okay there? So it said find the derivative at 3. So this is the exact same problem worded a different way. Okay? So what I really want to know, is this calculator or not? No, this is not. Remember, this is, I want to know when is y3. Right? So I need the x value when y is 3 because this is going to be 1 over y of whatever that x is whenever y is 3. So this Time, instead of x, because I'm talking about an inverse, I'm going to say, when is this? I'm going to make it equal zero. I'm going to factor it. So I get x equals 1 and x equals 7, but... It's got to be smaller than 4, so it can't be that one. So I want to know what is 1 over y of 1. Because you want to find it with y of 3. Right. So y of 3. Remember, I'm talking inverses, which switches x and y. So instead of when oh, x is 3, I'm thinking when y is 3. What? Okay, because 
It's inverse. yeah, inverse is different. Inverse is not a negative one exponent. It's just an that's just notation for inverse. I can see where that's confusing her. So y of one, of course, is one squared minus eight plus ten, which would be negative seven plus ten be three. So one over three. What else? What else? What else? Y'all still working? 